Here we are uh, talking with Cherry, and recently I made a video called Are You Beautiful in China? And mm. I wanted to get Cherry's advice on some of the things that I talked about in that video. I talked about a bunch of standards of beauty, like things that Chinese people may want to have or may desire or may admire. And I wanted a second opinion. I wanted to talk to a Chinese person to see if we can get some different angles on this and just to make sure that I was uh, everything I was saying is true. So this is Cherry. So hi, Cherry. How are you doing? Hello, I'm good. Actually, I'm not sure 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 I'm Mm. Mm -hmm. And in, in that video, I think at the beginning, I tried to emphasize that I'm not like a um, fashion expert, you know, I'm not like a, uh, any kind of specialist in beauty or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And it was just more for, for fun and for just like cultural exploration. And so got to have this as the disclaimer, I suppose, but Let's uh, talk about the first thing that I talked about in the video, which was uh, how difficult it is for Chinese people to tell the difference between foreigners, like foreign faces. And I was wondering if you have this problem, if it's difficult for you to tell the difference between like mm -hmm. me and someone else, another European face. Okay, I'm not 就是我还我在还没有一个欧洲的朋友或者是美国的朋友之前 学校上课的时候，我分不清楚谁是谁，他们的名字也像，脸也很像，对。但是我发现看久了以后，我发现每个人都很特别，他们都有自己的特点，然后我慢慢的、慢慢的可以记住，对。It's good because Cherry is confirming the suspicion that I had that for Chinese people, at least if they haven't 接触到很多外国人， you know they haven't met a lot of foreigners or um, spent a lot of time with foreign people, it's difficult for them to tell the difference between their faces. And the same thing applies, like I was saying in the video, uh, the first few years in China, maybe for uh, expats going in there, maybe it's difficult for them as well to tell the difference between Chinese people and especially remember their names. That was, that's, even today, that's so impossible. I mean, it's not impossible, but it's just incredibly difficult. And also the fact that so many people don't really tell you their name and don't really ask what's your name. Maybe we could save that for another video. Mm -hmm. um, and this this very question about like telling the difference between people, do you think it has an effect or an influence on your ability to tell if someone is attractive or not? No, I think that 就是如果我看到西方人的脸 Maybe I should have asked you at the beginning, like, are you picky? Are you a picky person when you're judging people by looks, you know, how they look, you know, do, do you, do you find, it sounds like you find a lot of people attractive or you say that you're very, you're very kind. You're saying 
you can see attractiveness in everyone. Everyone has different things that are attractive, right? So does this mean that you are not a picky person like you are? 对，我对我对美的要求没有 Regan 那么高啊。我知道 Regan 有很高的要求，但是我觉得每个人都很好看，我没有那么高的要求，所以，对。我不是一个 picky， 我不是一个挑剔的人。Okay, well, let us let's talk about one of the standards of beauty. This is probably the biggest one, and it's probably the most complicated. So let's get、uh, Cherry's thoughts about it. It's all about white skin. So I, I was trying to emphasize that Chinese people seem to have this really strong desire for white, fair skin. Uh, is this true? And you know, what do you think about this? Well, I think most of the Chinese people, especially the more traditional people, they like white skin. Yes, I think this is also because we live in a culture that is always living in the mountains. Because we live in the mountains, and the people in that place are white skin, and we are very attracted to white skin. So from the beginning to now, we are very attracted to white skin. 而且在我们的文学里面，我们对美女，我们怎么去写一个美女和帅哥，我们也会去强调他有很白的皮肤，但是我们也会强调白皮肤，我们也会强调他的皮肤很细腻。你知道细腻的意思吗？细腻就是，就是，就是，这个好难，就是你，就是你的皮肤很滑，滑滑的。对，那个是细腻，就是我们会觉得，如果一个人的皮肤很白，然后呃很细，那应该是在大部分中国人看来是很漂亮的。但是我也要说，现在，呃，特别是在一些一线城市，已经有很多人他们的标准已经改变了，有很多呃人他们都会去把自己的皮肤晒晒成棕色的，他们会让自己就是棕。棕色一点，然后这样会更漂亮或者更健康一点。嗯哼。So at the end, are you saying that there are a few people now that actually like to spend time in the sun and and tan their skin? 对啊，我记得有有一些一线城市，他们有这样的，他们可以去付钱，然后去把自己的皮肤晒成棕色。嗯嗯哼。Well. Let me ask you another question.、Uh, in the video, I talked about people doing things in China to make their skin look whiter or not so dark. In fact, I think a lot of the things they do in China or in Asia are to prevent their skin from becoming darker, not necessarily、mm -hmm. trying to be whiter,、um, because I. Don't know how possible that is to make your skin whiter, but.、Um, Are there some things that you do, or your friends do, or people that you know do, to try to give the the look or the appearance of having whiter, fairer skin? 有啊，就是我们经常会听到，呃，在网上听到说，你每天要喝柠檬水，然后会让你的皮肤白一点。虽然我也不知道为什么。对，但是大部分人做的就是保护自己的皮肤，不让皮肤变黑的办法，还是擦防晒霜，然后打伞。防防晒霜就是就是白色的，你擦在脸上， uh, 然后就。Screen, yeah. 对，然后还有就是打伞，我们喜欢打伞。对，但我觉得也有一个原因是，如果你晒太久的太阳，我们的皮肤会变红。然后它会脱皮，就是皮肤会掉下来，会很疼，所以我觉得很多人他们打伞也是因为不想不想那么疼。Let me ask you about the second thing.、Uh, mm -hmm. The second thing is about like your eyes, the shape of your eyes, and this was always、uh, something very unusual for me because people seem to like my eyes a lot, but they they wouldn't tell me that they like the color of my eyes, like almost. Almost never people complimented me for the color of my eyes, which is what most people compliment me on in New Zealand or you know、uh, other Westerners. That's what they compliment me about. But in China, they compliment me about the size of my eyes. This was always strange to me because I never thought about the size of your eyes being important. 
And if anything, I kind of liked the Asian eyes because they were different for me, you know, different from what I'm used to. So maybe mm -hmm. for them, like big eyes is, is different for them, but they seem to like big eyes a lot more than I like small eyes. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So um, what is it with uh, Chinese people and this attraction towards bigger eyes? Um, 确实我们... 就是有一部分的人会喜欢大眼睛，对这个这个话题有点敏感啊，因为在眼睛的这个话题上面，经常都会吵架，东方人和西方人经常都会吵架。对，但是我觉得如果你去看中国古代的话，就是古代的人他们
，因为因为在你的那个本能，嗯、在你的啊，这个词好难，你知道本能的意思吗？本能就是比如说你饿了，然后你就要吃饭；你渴了，你就要喝水，这个是你的本能。对，因为在我们的本能里面，我们觉得更高的人更强壮，他可以帮我们有，就是如果我们跟他在一起，我们会有更好的孩子，会有更健康的孩子，然后我们的孩子的孩子也会更健康。所以我觉得这个是全世界的人都喜欢的标准，不只是只有中国才有的。Okay, I think there's probably a lot of people that like being tall, but For me personally, I don't really have a preference. Like I just like normal height. I don't. And, and actually, once you go above normal height, I. That's actually I almost prefer people that are like a little bit shorter. You know, like. You. That. I want to ask you. Do you know the average height of New Zealand Zealanders? Uh, we're pretty tall、mm-hmm. on average here. Yeah. 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 对啊，对，但是呃，你知道在，在就是在中国不一样的是，因为我们太大了，所以在一个国家里面，北方的人他的身高比较高，南方的人可能身高会比较矮。但是因为我们就是一，我们是一个国家，所以我们看得到，我们长得矮的人看得到长。长得高的人，所以我们会很羡慕，然后我们也想长得高，所以我们会越来越 anxious， 越来越焦虑，越来越焦虑，就是因为在我们国家，就身高的差异太大了，所以会让一些人很焦虑，然后他们会让你觉得啊，我这些人就是很太喜欢高的人了。嗯哼 ，That's a better answer. I like that answer. That makes much more sense to me. So you got a lot of just because you have a lot of people. You have a lot of short people, but you also have a lot of tall people, and those. I mean, you're you're saying the scale, the difference between short and tall is is really wide, and so a lot of these shorter people are seeing the taller people, and then obviously this is going to create the effect. Yeah. Okay, that's much better. What about? Let me add another one in here. This Shalvilian, the V-shaped face. Convenience. Okay. Okay. OK， 天哪，这个我真的很不喜欢。谁喜欢？呃、uh, ，I think a lot of people like it because when I had a photo taken, like a professional passport photo, um, they photoshopped it, and and you can see in lots of Chinese people's ID photos and passport photos, their face is always like that, and it's very unnatural. That's not their real chin jaw shape. 我知道你的意思，对对对，那种那种小微小微脸啊，这个这个我觉得是因为呃，我觉得就是传统的中国人不喜欢这种脸。其实你知道，传统的中国人他们喜欢圆脸，就是我的脸。<笑>对对，他们喜欢圆脸，所以嗯，如果你去看中国古代的一些女人的画，然后你会发现这些女人她们。他们的脸都是圆的，可能会就是椭圆，可能是圆的。对我觉得小 V 脸是因为最近，是因为现在才开始有的审美标准，就是因为，嗯，还是我觉得还是跟那个那个大眼睛有关系，就是因为我们看太多的西方人的脸，因为西方人的脸对我们来说真的很小。所以我们觉得他们很漂亮，所以我们也想把自己的脸变成小 V 脸。嗯，还有一个原因是什么？还有一个原因就是，如果你的脸是 V 型的，你会看起来很瘦。所以你知道，在亚洲，我们对于胖瘦的标准是很严格的。一般一百斤以上的女孩子，很少会有人说她们瘦。所以如果你的脸是小小的，那。会有很多人说，哎、啊，你看起来很瘦，所以也是因为身材的原因，他们希望自己的脸瘦一点。Sometimes that stuff goes a little bit far, like、um, if you use a, yeah, if you use like a dating app,、uh, and you're just scanning through photos of people, th- that's when you really get to see how intense the Photoshop and the beauty filters. Ah,、uh, in China, and how many people just their faces are all just like it's like a triangle, 尖尖 you know, at the bottom. Yeah, 尖尖 
Uh, there is one more thing I can ask you about. It's uh, having a high nose. Yeah. 高鼻子，哎，这个问题我觉得很有意思，因为我以前问过我的英国的学生，他们不说鼻，他们不说高鼻子，他们说大鼻子，对。但是对我们来说，我们没有大鼻子，我们只有高鼻子。所以你问我的问题，都是我们被西方影响了以后的标准啊。所以高鼻子也是一样的，也是因为，嗯，我觉得。对我们喜欢高鼻子，因为如果你的鼻子看起来很高，那你的脸看起来很小；如果你的脸看起来很小，那你就一定很瘦。嗯、mm. ，Well, that's interesting.、Mm. Then, so Cherry saying that the high nose thing is has is coming sort of from the influence of the Western world, right? And the big eyes is the same thing.、Mm-hmm. And that makes me think back to I, I had a, a friend, a Korean friend. He used to.、Uh, Get some kind of, I, I guess you could call it cosmetic surgery. He'd get an injection here and an injection here to kind of make his jaw look more manly, wider,、mm-hmm. thicker. He's a man, right? Yeah, it's a guy, it's a guy, not a girl.、Um, so he, maybe that also is something that's coming kind of from the Western world. I, I imagine, just guessing. But are there any other like、uh, things like、uh, standards of beauty? That Chinese people might have that you can think of off the top. Like I can think of a really old one from the ancient days or from like、um, the last maybe hundred hundred years ago. Like people used to the women、uh, and the men apparently liked really really small feet. Ah, 那个小脚是吧？我知道。对，那个对我们来说，我们觉得那样的审美是很畸形的。畸形的意思就是奇怪到你。不能理解它，就是很畸形。对我觉得那个审美是很畸形的，就是很丑，在我看来很丑很残酷。嗯,嗯，对，那个是我觉得那个跟历史有关系。嗯、呃，男人们对于女人们的标准是为了让女人跑得没有那么快，然后没有那么健康。然后这样女人可以一直待在家里，为他们的男人服务。哇、wow, ，现在你懂了吗 ？Perspective, yeah.、Mm-hmm. That's a very interesting、uh, um, way to look at that. Yeah, what do you think about like all these things then, like、um, white skin, big eyes, being tall,、um, maybe a, having a high nose? Like, are all of these things do they affect or influence the way that? People live in China in in any particular ways. Like, is the is the influence of these things strong、mm-hmm. in China, or how 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 influential is it? You, if you want to know these standards have a big impact on our, then you should go to a shop to look at it. For example, you go to a shop and you see that the products that make you look white are very popular, and you know that. 这个标准对我们的影响真的很大，所以我觉得像长得高，我们现在有很多医院，他他的广告就是说我可以让你的小孩长高一点，然后他们的父母每个月就会带他们的小孩去医院检查，然后吃一些很奇怪的药，最后也没有长高。对，一个是长高的医院，第二个是整容公司，第第三个是化妆品店，然后我觉得这些。如果你想知道这些标准对我们的影响有多深，你可以去看这三个商店，你可以看看他们赚了多少钱，然后你会感受到他们的影响对我们的影响。我觉得是很大的，这些东西让我们很焦虑啊！我我觉得我长得不漂亮，我应该让自己皮肤白一点，让自己眼睛大一点。他们让我去花了很多钱去让自己变漂亮，但是到了最后，你会。就是这些人会变得越来越奇怪，他们又不自信，然后又不好看，就是改变了自己最原来的样子。嗯。啊、uh, ，maybe I can ask one more question. How much of this stuff actually influences Chinese guys? 那肯定是影响很多，比如说他们就喜欢找这样的女人结婚。但是 how much influence 我没有办法说这个这个 how much。因为很难，我也不知道它的量。对，但是，呃，哎，但是很奇怪的有一点，你知不知道
，很奇怪，有一点是这些标准都是来要求女人的，这些标准都、嗯、大部分的标准都是用来要求女人，所以有时候你在。你在我们的国家，你会看到就是一个 couple， 他的女朋友很漂亮，但是他的男朋友他从来不会去关心自己的身材，也不健身，然后也不理一个漂亮的头发，他觉得自己很帅，然后他一定要找一个漂亮的女朋友。所以我觉得男人和女人的这种审美标准有很大的差异。现在 ，Yeah， and maybe for this part, it might be a good idea to talk with a guy. Right, because I think you can give a really good like female perspective on this stuff, but maybe for the guy side, I need to talk to a, a male. Yeah, because it's, it's difficult for me. Like I, I feel like I'm, even though I've been living there, I feel a little bit disconnected from those things because guys don't really speak openly about girls the way that people do in、uh, the West, you know, or in English. So that's quite different. But anyway, shall we?、Um, Should we stop here? I feel like you told me a lot of stuff, and、um, answered some of my questions, and even kind of gave me some new thoughts about some of the stuff. So, yeah, thank、mm. you for talking about this. 不客气。